the most important thing I want them to take away from the book, it actually dovetails with something Joseph just mentioned about the, the dying and the, the resurrection and the, the, the permanence of, of the church, the, the endurance of the church, um, the fact that we will prevail. Um, basically, so most of my book, you're, you're just immersed in watching plotting and maneuvering and all of this. And um, the second half of the book is called Time. And there are these little moments where you have this, this kind of ticking clock where you kind of, the, the revolutionaries seem to be worried that, you know, how much time do we have and are we going to be able to finish and make, make it on time? And then the ending, you know, um, some of the listeners will have already read this and some will have not read it. But essentially I'll say that the, the ending kind of takes you out of, out of this world of, of this sublunary world of politicking and, and everything. And it, it gives you kind of, you know, the perspective of, of our Lord and the, the moment when time will be up for the revolutionaries. And it will have looked like it was just, you know, as, as ephemeral as lightning. Their, their time will, will look like it was just a lightning flash. And I think it's important for us to remember that because um, it, on the one hand, I, I want to stress, you know, how, how much we can learn by studying the mafia. But on the other hand, I don't want people to become so consumed and worried and, and everything that there's um, sensationalism or unfounded speculation or despair about where we go from here. So I think that the most important thing is, you know, to try, um, if you're reading the book, try to get to the end and, and read the ending. And that's what I think the message is. The message is, as Benedict might say, that the Lord wins in the end. He's, he's in control. The Lord is in the boat. Excellent. Wonderful.